This was a multi-state investigation, and there were so many agencies who committed time and resources and personnel to follow up on leads for us, um, and our partners, Suffolk County DA's office, the U.S. Attorney's office, the ATF, et cetera. So um, good results, just results come from collaborative efforts by all, uh, agencies working together, and that's what happened in this case. So I'm very grateful for that. Tell me about um, the challenge of putting all of that evidence together in a comprehensive, cohesive way. It, um, at the end of a case, you see the district attorney's office, the prosecutors. Uh, I said this earlier inside to part of uh, the, the people who were involved. A thousand hands touched this case, and at the end of the case, we're standing here, and um, it would have been an impossible task for me alone to have handled um, all the evidence, trying to bring it all together. I've had great assistance, Pat Bomberg, Brian Griffin, the, the, um, the, the, the officers assigned to the case, Jeremiah Donovan, Eric Benson, Jennifer Purcell, someone who works in our office. She was, she's really the one who pulled it all together for us. And um, so too many people to thank. I think they know who they are, but never could have done it without, um, um, again, we're, we're here at the end. But uh, there's so many people who um, are, are, have contributed to the success of this case. And we're very grateful because we know it brings some small measure of peace to the family. And the homicides are the most, in, most serious cases that we deal with. But the idea that somebody was targeted in this case, I think you heard the evidence. There were 35 people who went to that scene before anybody knew who was involved. And they were from a variety of agencies. They were there just doing their job. Homicides, there's been a commitment by this district attorney and Sam Sutter, the prior district attorney, to in fully investigate every homicide. We've done that in this case. We've done that in other cases, uh, every other case. So I'm, I'm proud of the work that goes into these cases. And again, we never get to this result without the commitment of so many people. So I, I'm grateful to that. But the, Bill, Bill, yes. Bill, 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 you had for a living, but you've gotten to know this family very well. Does a decision like this, does it feel personal in a way? It's definitely personal. Um, I have gotten to know this family. And again, we, we myself, um, um, drew strength from just the the dignity and the class and the the commitment that they showed to let this go out and there's a responsibility that we have to make sure that we do everything possible and while i'm talking about that i just wanted to thank my family and i know i speak for everybody else people people make sacrifices we made a sacrifice and because we're committed to seeing this thing through and as a result uh, our families, wives, kids, um, significant others, sometimes um, we're not there for them. And uh, but I, I'm I'm very grateful to them uh, because they understand that uh, we've been so blessed in our lives. And when something, some tragedy like this, happens to another family, we're committed to try and do everything we can. And that sometimes means we have to make sacrifices. So um, this has been a wonderful family to get to know. And Odin Lloyd, he was a special person. Everything I've heard about him, they don't make make uh, young men like that. Um, he was uh, didn't have a father. That story I heard early on about the last occasion he had to see his mother really touched us. That he was saying, you know, Happy Father's Day because he didn't have a father in his life, and in fact it was his mother who raised him and raised him to be the kind of person who was respectful and appreciated what he had. You heard um, his uncle, his uncle Vaughn say he couldn't give him anything. He wanted to earn it. And so he rode his bike every day to work as a landscaper. I think it was a great contrast between two young men, the defendant who had so much, so much ability, so a talent, money, all the things that everyone thinks you need. And then you had Odin Lloyd who didn't want that. He didn't want that given to him. He was going to earn it. He didn't have the athletic talent, but he loved football. And he continued to play football. And that's the kind of person he was. And so, yes, I did get to know this family. And, uh, and that made it e easier for us to commit what we thought we had to commit to bring this result about. Bill, 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 Bill. Or did you have a sense that it was going to be close? When that we had great confidence in the case that we put together, and uh, anytime you charge somebody with a homicide, 
you don't make that decision lightly. This decision wasn't made lightly. We intended to uh, see the case through, and so when we charged him, we believed in the case. And um, and obviously the, there was the evidence. People can, uh, you've heard the evidence. The jury obviously agreed with that. So I'm I'm so, satisfied Bill, with that. Yes, sir. Bill,